If you are happy, you are in the house, I want you to begin to lift up your hands to the heavens. Start appreciating the God of all. Love him as never before. Say, Lord, I love you with all my heart. I did not see you, but I've seen your work. I did not see you understand what you can do. Uh -huh. Continue appreciating him in your heart. Love him as never before. Say, Lord, without you, I cannot do anything. I cannot do anything. I cannot go anywhere. I cannot do anything. I am not amounting to anything, Lord Jesus. I want you to love him with your heart this morning. Love him with your heart this morning. Love him with your spirit this morning. Love him with your mind this morning. Say, Lord, I love you with my heart. Ah, I want you to begin to appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him for that glorious power. Because he's a glorious God. Because he's the Lord of all. Because he's the King of universe. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And this is the reason we must praise him. <laughs> Say this is the reason I must praise you. Say this is the reason I must appreciate you. I cannot give my praise to any man. But unto my God, unto my maker, unto the king of all, beginning to love him this moment. Say, Lord, I love you. 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 Oh my God, you got a lot of room, you. Oh my God. I like that attack, or they refit. When you are not in happy moments, it's only God that can give you happiness. When you are too happy, it's only God that can give you more happiness. Say, Lord, I love you with my heart. When you have nothing to offer, your presence can go for you. Say, Lord, I love you with my heart. Only one more be a girl. Lord, I exalt you. I like that I'm a cherry, right? Almighty Father, I witness about you. I am proud of 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 you. Love the Lord with your heart. Love the Lord with your spirit. From your innermost mind. Say, Lord, only you, only you, only you, only you. Only you, only you, only you, only you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory. There is somebody here. When I was in the office, God showed your matter to me. God said to me, that every area of your life is like there is a blockage. Say there is like a blockage. But God is saying, I should tell you, that he has amended your way. Yeah. He has taken away that blockage. Now, let me explain to you briefly. Whenever you wanted something from any man, it's always so difficult for you to get. And as a matter of fact, you depend so much on people and they have failed you woefully. But my God is saying, I should tell you today that that blockage is over. Hey, hey. If you want to shout amen, shout out amen. Hey, Say blockage upon my life. Say it's over. Say blockage upon my life. That it is over. Say blockage upon my life. It is over. And I hear you shout loud at him. Amen. I want to thank God for that woman. That her mind was here at Nogata. 
But she was unable to be here because of her head status. But God said, I will go and heal her. What I will do in that meeting for her, let me go to the house and say to her. He said, it's supposed to be here on Friday. But I God visited her. I want you to lift up your hands. Say, oh Lord, my healer. Oh Lord, my healer. Shout it very loud and clear. Oh Lord, my healer. Say, O oh Lord, my healer, oh Lord, my healer. In, the in the name of Jesus, every aspect of my life, oh, every every aspect of life. that need healing, say, let the healing locate it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout it again, say, O Lord, my God, O Lord, my healer, every aspect of my life, that need healing, let your healing prevail. Say, Amen. I want to say to you that healing is not only when you are sick in the body. It is possible for someone material to be sick. It is possible for somebody product to be sick. And when I'm talking about product, there are a lot of product that the hand is made up of. And there are a lot of product that come out of your mouth. It is possible for somebody to have the product of mouth and never be honored or recognized. It is possible for people to speak and for that person not to be relevant. It is possible for people to look at what you are saying and I say to you, you are speaking no more. And you believe in your heart that you are offering the best. But inside of them, they are telling you that you are speaking rubbish. So it means that the product of your mouth is being tampered with. And it is possible for you to have a particular product in your hand. And you make your hand to do something but never work. You have tried everything that things will work for you but never work for you. And the product of your hand is no more acceptable. I want you to shout three louder amen to this. Every product of your life that is no more acceptable that have gone out of the acceptable market. I pray in the name of Jesus with your three louder amen. Let it begin to be acceptable in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen in Jesus name. So every product of my life every product of my life shout it very loud and clear shout it very loud and clear what are the loudest you can shout shout it very well say bring forth your glory in the name of Jesus can I hear you shout loud and hear me to that we are going to sing a song God gave me this song and he gave me the recap A and recap B. It's a very popular song that you know. And you are going to sing it. God said to me, for as many that we involve in this song, I will do to them what I've never done in their generation. Amen. And when God is saying he will do to you what you have not done in your generation, don't expect any bad news. He's saying to you that he will do to you very powerful thing that people will be saying, how does it happen? That woman that gave testimony said that somebody brought her here and she received her healing. The other sister said that who will have said that the mother will walk again after 10 years in the hospital. 10 years in the hospital is not just like a mere 10 days. When we are talking about 10 years, a child of 10 years understands a lot of things. For, for that woman to be in that state for 10 years and for God to allow that woman to use a back that the final cord has been broken. So you that same back to back children. Then God is faithful. A man called me yesterday through one of my sons, the Lord in Abuja. And the man said, Sir, that the mother 
It's been knocked down with cancer. It's not a small man. All he said, my friend, your son, the barrister said, I should call, you should call, that he should call my father. And as he called, and I said to him, this, 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 this. And he said, the doctor said that they, they should be waiting for some days for the mother to die. And he said to that doctor at that time, the doctor, you don't know when this woman is created. You only understand when the sickness, what the sickness is talking about. Then if you did not know when this woman was created, then you cannot give are the death day. The sickness might say the woman will die this time. But if the owner of this woman says she will not die. And the woman did not die. I don't know that problem that you can wait to this place. Today. Well, if you can shout louder, amen. The restorer of hope. The joy of salvation. The king of universe. We attend to that problem in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But eventually you have tagged that problem as your problem. But God is saying, I should tell you, it is no more your problem. Amen. Somebody have to understand what I'm trying to say. There are a lot of things that happen to a lot of people. And by the time they look at that matter, they will look at it and they begin to say, this is my problem. Oh, this is my sickness. Oh. When God formed you, he did not form sickness with you. God said, I created man. But he did not say that I created you to fall into sickness. God said, I have formed every man that they can live peacefully. He did not say that your life, in your lifetime, you must be demoted. But the Bible said, when a man sleeps, the enemy will come. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The enemy of your life that suddenly appear on your matter. I declare in the name of Jesus. The enemy will die in the name of Jesus. I don't know for how many years you have been passing through what you are passing through. I declare in the name of Jesus that year or the pains of that year will turn to testimony for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shout out louder, amen, hunt of the Lord. Shout out louder, amen, hunt of the Lord. Amen. So if you are here this moment with a problem, the God of all possibilities will reach out to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That song says, oh, you know, I have seen the Lord goodness, but it really alone, huh? his mercies, I know, right? and compassion. I, tell you, really, really. I have seen the Lord goodness, but it really alone, huh? hallelujah. hallelujah, praise the Lord. And you know, uh, and number two, okay, they come and say the Lord goodness, oh, no, what really alone, huh? his mercies, I know, right? and compassion. I tell you, really, really. Come and see the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now do you recap B. Say, we have seen the Lord goodness. His mercy and compassion. We have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to sing this song in three segments. But well, I want to tell you today, you are going to get a particular partner that you are going to sing together. The number one thing you are going to do, you will testify to that person. Say, I have seen the Lord goodness. Now, not only his goodness now, I have seen his mercy. I have seen his compassion. Now, those are the things you have seen. That's number one. Then two of you now, you will now become the partner in greatness. They say, we have seen the Lord goodness. Then you will call that your friend. Say, my friend, come and see the Lord 
goodness. God is saying to me, even if things are not working in your life the way it should be, then I should tell you, by the time you sing this song, you are testifying about the goodness before you see his goodness manifest in your life. Then he's saying to me, if we go to that place where you have been tied up, where problem is telling you is not possible. And he's saying, mercy will say no. It is possible for this man. Mercy will say no. If not this woman, it can never be another woman. Mercy will say no. If not your product, no other product can be acceptable. Mercy will say no. If it is not by your God, no God can answer. Are you hearing that? That is the way we are going to go today. And I want to tell you, if you are able to sing this song with your heart, if you are able to sing this song from your mind, something great will happen to you. Amen. Can I hear you shout out a hymn? Amen. Can I hear you shout out a hymn? Amen. A woman is here. They gave her my number from UK. And she says she came from Aja. God is saying I should tell that woman. That you are that woman that stone blockage block all your ways. And it happens. Joining a particular woman that you have sometimes ago. That woman is a woman that they don't help. The woman said, Whosoever that help me must fall into the same problem that I'm into. She uses a problem to attract more problems in order for some people to be gained into the money cover. But I pray for that woman today. From that problem of the help you had time to, I command the name of God, pull out of that problem in the name of God. Amen. Now hear this. I was going somewhere yesterday. God said to me, as we are going with my children in the Lord, God said that there are power that confronted sympathizers. Amen. Power that confronted sympathizers. There are two types of sympathizers. I said to that person, I said, as we are going, we are going on a mission. Do not run too much. I said, on this mission that we are going, there are powers that always attacking people that run on this kind of mission. There are some mission that power of darkness is always looking for to attack people. When you are on a mission to help the dead people out, you are always being attacked. When you are on a mission to do some specific help, which I may not enter, I tell you, there is always attack. But I pray for that woman and everyone that is being attacked because you have somebody. Let that attack terminate in the name of Jesus Christ. There are some people that package themselves together. We are going to the realm of charmers. They will package themselves together and they will appear as somebody that have problems. They do not have any problem. Their problem is nothing. But they want to afflict their helpers. Can I say this to you? There are a lot of people that a power will stand and the power will tell them if you help this one you enter into a problem. A lot of people have come to this place by the time of counseling God will say to me, son, pray this prayer before you pray for this person. It has been said that whosoever that delivered this one will enter into this problem. All the children or the mother will enter into this problem. All the wife or the children will enter into this problem. So every problem that confronted a man has a link and has an attached and upgraded problem to that problem. So whosoever that will help that person out. So I pray 
Therefore, anyone that is some of us, anyone that is listening to me right now, or you are watching me right now, every attack problem of greater battles against the place of your life, let it be for your life and Jesus It is possible for somebody to help and that person enter into danger. But hear me, beloved. Today, every problem that you enter into, I declare in the name of Jesus that my everlasting God will pull you out of that problem in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer. Say every problem. Without the loudest, you can shout. That my life in chaos. During the time I've helped somebody. Say what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. As I clap my hands. Fire back fire. 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 Back Microseconds. Then God is saying, every feeling of distress in your life, every feeling of discomfort in your life, every feeling of agony of mind and body in your life, He's saying to me, you will forget them. Yeah. Then I announce to that person that will say, Lord, I hear me. Every agony of your life shall be a forgotten issue in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Unless I be a forgotten issue in the name of Jesus. This brother that I just married, God is saying, I should tell you, go and change all the mattress in your house. I'm talking to you. All the mattress in your house. Go go and it Don't sleep on them tonight. Do you understand me? They are possessed. Do you get me very well? Do you buy a new one? You bought a new one for your wedding. When? A month to the wedding. Go and buy another one. They are possessed. How many mattress do you have in your house? Come. Go on to deliver you today. Amen. How many mattresses do you have in your house? Go and change everyone. Go and give it to a vanish home. You understand? I know it's money. Isn't it? Your wife can manage now. The wife come. Let's clap our hands unto the
There are highs very close to your mattress. Okay? That is strategy. But God has exposed it. Amen. Let me hand to the Lord. No, God said that that state of distress is over. Amen. And verse 17. I say, and an age shall be clearer than the new day. And on it will be very brighter. Oh my money. Oh my money. Do it. So he sent to me. That. That hedge. Shall be more clearer. Than the new day. And he said. Thou shalt shine forth. Thou shalt be as the morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I say this to you? There is a difference between the new day and the morning hour. Morning hour is with comfort. New, new days in the no noon in the afternoon. Afternoon is always sometimes giving you discomfort. Because of what? Because of the heat that you used to see. But hello in the morning, what do you see? Comfort. And he's saying to me that your head will be brighter than that of afternoon. Amen. And he's saying to me that you will shine forth. Amen. And you will shine just like in the morning season. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 18 says, And thou shalt be secure. Amen. Please tell that louder, amen. Amen. Say you shall be secure. Amen. Because there is hope. Say, I have hope. I just saw that. that say, I have hope. Say so, therefore, I am not scared of any power. Say, I have hope concerning my new job. I have hope concerning my marriage. I have hope concerning my career. I have hope concerning my business. I have hope concerning my fruitfulness. I have hope concerning my joy. I have hope concerning my uncompleted building. I have hope concerning my employment. I have hope concerning my CVs. I have hope concerning my new job. Hallelujah! You shout hallelujah! And he said, yay! Thou shalt dig about thee. And thou shalt take thy rest in safety. In other words, if there is any attachment that is saying to you that you will not have your rest. God is saying I should tell you that your rest is not just going to be mere rest. According to the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 18, I believe verse 32, that my people will dwell in a peaceable habitation. In a quiet and in a resting place. So this scripture is affirming what the book of Isaiah have said. The when he said you will do it with safety, or you will do it in safety, is actually saying to you that your dwelling will be in the dwelling of the happening persons, in the dwelling of the joyful persons. In the dwelling of the happy people. In the dwelling of people that have the better right unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear you shout out of him? Can I hear you shout out of him? Can I hear you shout out of him? That is Isaiah chapter 32 verse 18. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 18 says, and my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and in a sure dwelling and a quiet resting place. That is where God is going to attach you to. Amen. And from today, you will not move away from that place. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And verse 19 of Job chapter 11 verse 19. Job chapter 11 verse 19. Can we read it together if you are there? Job chapter 11 verse 19 here. Let's read it together. One to go. Also, thou shalt lie down and none shall make thee afraid. This, this is my word. So that, that, say this is my word. Say I will lie down. And no spirit. Say no bagger. Uh, say it very well. 
Can you announce to that your neighbor? Say no spirit. No demons. No bagger. And shout it very well now. Uh, it's not only time you are angry, you're supposed to be saying bagger. Say, I say no spirit. I say no spirit. No demon. No bagger. No, no bagger. No, no naughty person. We make me afraid. Because I have a super god. And I hear you shout it very well. Now, can we sing that song now? I have seen the Lord good nights. His mercies and compassion. Face somebody now. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. I know so that person very well. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Say, come and see the Lord goodness. You are going to tell that person, say, come and see the Lord goodness. Say, come and see. You are inviting them. Come and see you. Come and see the Lord goodness. His mercies and compassion. Come and see the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Come and see the Lord goodness. Sing it very well with all your strength. Come and see the Lord goodness. To my Lord and person, say we have seen the Lord goodness. We have seen the Lord goodness, His mercies and compassion. We have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. And answer that person very well now. Say we have seen the Lord goodness. His mercies and compassion. We have seen the Lord goodness. Now first and only person, say I have seen the Lord goodness. The Lord goodness, His mercies and compassion. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let your voice be louder than the way it used to be now. Of Psalm 107, verses 13 to 14. I want every living soul hearing me open to the scripture because we have a lot of things to do with here. The book of Psalm 107, verse 13 and 14. If you are there, say, I am there. Then, when you are there, I want you to shout with your roaring voice. You will affirm the word that is in that place. You make sure you understand it very well. And by the time you understand it very well, then you declare it very well. Do you understand that? I want, to, I want your eyes to glance through the scripture. Then you will know exactly what you are going to do. Psalm 107 verse 13 to 14. I have announced to you before. In the Cross Christian Center here, we pray, we read by Bible. We don't tell you you eat coconut or you eat banana or you eat this. We don't make the life of people to be a magic strategist. Here you pray out. Are you hearing me? If you are believing one pastor will come and give you sponge that I will give you sponge, I give you soap, I give you whatever you wanted. This is not the place for that. Here we speak to the Father in heaven and he attend to us. There is something about your mouth what you speak with your mouth have tendency to lift you high or have tendency to bring you down. And this is the reason you have to affirm this very well. You hear it? Then I want you to open to that Psalm 107 verse 13 to 14. Then you follow me as I read it. Say, then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. Say, then I cry unto my God in my trouble. Now listen. And he saved them out of their distress. Can you repeat it? Say, and he saved me out of my distress. Then the third one. That he brought them out of darkness. 
Say, so brought me out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bound in thunder. Say so therefore every trouble of my life. Say what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Enough is enough. Is enough. Is enough. As I clap my hands. As I clap my hands. In the name of Jesus. Say every trouble of my life. Hear the word of God through me. As I clap my hands. Oh yeah, destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every trouble of my life. Rise of God in your trouble. You know that trouble that is tormenting your life. You know that man that sank at the trouble. You know that struggle of your life. You know that sickness of your life. Say to you, nothing good can help us for you. Verse 44. Psalm 106, verse 44. We are going in strategic way this morning. We are going to address the charmers of our life. How do you can to totally banish and give way forever? Can I hear you shout loud? Amen. Amen. We are going to destroy the works of charmers and the interests of charmers of our life. Psalm 106, verse 44. Says, Nevertheless. Yes. He regarded the affliction when he heard their cries. Say, nevertheless. Never I just saw us. Okay, da, da. Never never the less. Less. Say, my God. My God. Regarded, regarded my affliction. Say, nevertheless. Look at me very well, everyone. How many I hope you are taking me so bold? Say, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Shake your body very well. Nevertheless. Say, nevertheless. He regarded my affliction. He regarded my affliction. Because he has seen my tears. Because he has seen my tears. Say, so therefore. So therefore. Every affliction in my body. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Oh, you're back. Fire, back, fire. So Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I command the strength to stand through heart be released to you. Amen. Amen. Although for this permitted to sit down. I wanted to ask God. I wanted to say that you should sit down. God said for what? God said for what? Then don't sit down. Then there is deliverance coming for you. In the book of Psalm chapter 17. Verse 24 to 25. The book of Psalm chapter 17. 24 to 25. God is saying to me, your standing is going to make a strength for you. Amen. And he's saying to me, as you are standing, he's standing for you. Amen. Anywhere your voice cannot get to, he says his personality will be there for you. Amen. Is it just that? So it's very important for you to use some minutes of your standing to gain the right stand forever. Amen. That is exactly what God is saying you're going to get today. Now, when Goliath came to the battlefield, he took the form of big problem. But later, it became very big opportunity for, God, for David. For David, for David to exhibit his skill, he must kill Goliath. And the Goliath we are talking about happened to be 
Then one a former problem. The king was actually looking at the height of Goliath. But David was looking at Goliath as grasshopper. On his side, I have a better opportunity here. I have a better opportunity here. Why? Because I am going to disgrace this man. He looks so tall. He looks so strong. He looks so mighty. But I will disgrace him. When he got to the battlefield, he asked the people, what shall be done for any man that killed his own circumcised He's trying to say, what shall be done to this man that has no link? There are some problems that has no link that trouble the people that have link. That problem stop your link. It stop your way to the top. It stop every good thing that's supposed to happen to you. But I pray for somebody that will say, Lord, amen. Above that person before you, that problem that does not have me, that is troubling your link to the top, that problem will scatter in the name of Jesus. I said, That problem will scatter in the name of Jesus. Giants. We always be there to intimidate the short man. Can I say to you? Giant in the spirit tribe is not by height or size, but because they have dominated the life, they are opposing or they are destroying. Goliath was a giant, very tall, very huge, but not in the spirit. So there are some spiritual giants that are against your lifting. They have no link, but they cease your link to the top. They have no name, but they cease your name. They have no identity, but they cease your identity. I pray for that person that will tell other heaven. Every giant in the spirit realm, tormenting the place of your resting. Let their power over your life by fire. Amen. Today is the healing hour. In other words, for your healing to be completed, you need to mention your case to the Lord. Do you know that? Sing the day that David has fought Goliath. There is no family of Goliath. And anyone that stood as Goliath to challenge that city any longer. Because they know there is a warrior. Somebody that was not trained by Hamid. But that have his training from the heavenlies. Somebody that the soldier did not train. The king said to David, he said, Goliath has been a trained warrior from his youth. But you, you are just a small boy. Who will tell you that a boy of 15 years of age to kill Goliath of almost 40 something years. A boy of 15 years has the wisdom and has what shall be given to the person that killed this one. God is raising you as a David of your generation. Amen. Hear me very well. There is a power that confronting your generation that as soon as anyone in your lineage step to that level of greatness. That power we say, no more for this one. Are you hearing me? When you observe some family, when you observe some family, when they grow to a particular height, a power will draw them down. And that power we say to them, you cannot move ahead from here. If you try to move ahead, they will either kill you or silence you permanently. But I pray for you today. Every power from your lineage, every power from your generation that I make a landmark and say, no one can grow beyond here. In your lineage, let the power waste away. Amen. Waste away. Amen. Waste away. Amen. Waste away. And I tell you this, there is no power that is operating without somebody giving them assignment. 
Now we are gave, we are giving angel in charge of your matter an assignment to go and fight for you. This is at the And this is the same way that the people in demonic hierarchy they look to fight. I, I was telling somebody. I said God is not a secret God in the spirit realm. Anything that God wants to say, He will pronounce it to the spirit realm. I remember when it was a time in the book of Second Chronicles. When God wants to kill a particular king, and God said, I want the king to go to the war and to die in the war. And the Bible recorded that a spirit appeared before God. In other words, that announcement was everywhere. And the spirit appeared. And the spirit said, I will go and entice him. And God said, How will you go and entice him? He says, I will enter into the heart of all the prophets and be a nice spirit to them. And more than 40 something prophets, they were telling them my life, thinking that it was God that was speaking to them. And that spirit. It's not the spirit that will do the work of holiness. Because the Bible said that God created everything for himself. Even the wicked one. He created them for the day of evil. Are you getting that? So there are some power. God will just say that demons. Because God knows that the demons belong to Satan. But he created that man that the Satan is using in form of demon. And when he wants to do anything, he says, come here. He will call them by the name that he knows them to be. This person offended me. I want you to go and torment that person. He will not tell the angel of peace to go and perform the, the evil work in the life of people because they don't do that. Why do I say this? When the prince of the king of Persia we saw the prayer of Daniel. Daniel, uh, the, when, the, when God wants to return the Daniel answer, you know that every prayer you pray and God do something for you, God is actually expecting thanksgiving from you. Then when God was not receiving the savour of the thanksgiving, when he was not receiving the savour of the thanksgiving from the Daniel, then he looked inwardly. Ah, Daniel supposed to have returned thanksgiving to oh, me yeah, for this thing I've done. Oh, yeah, then he discovered oh, that yeah. there was a particular spirit yeah. that we stood in Jegebre. Yeah. So yeah. in the pit of her, yeah. that we stood in Jegebre. Yeah. Yeah. Jegebre yeah. is an angel in charge of message, yeah. not yeah. a warrior. Yeah. And God said, yeah. I know that Gabriel will not fight. I did not make Gabriel to fight. But I'm going to send Angel Michael. And Angel Michael came. And we saw. And said, Gabriel, go ahead. I am behind you. Gabriel, go ahead. I am following you. Gabriel, go ahead. I have defeated that power. I pray for you today. That that angel on the assignment for your case, they will not miss their targets in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said they will not miss their targets in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said they will not miss their targets in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So you are going to represent the David of your family, the warrior of your family, the one that will return peace back to your home. The one that will say, no, I have right to say this. The reason I'm saying because God is going to impact your life with all benefits. Amen. When we are talking about benefits of God, don't think of money first. When we are talking about the benefits, don't think about money first. Do you understand that? Benefit come with grace and followed by mercy. Then followed by holiness and package and garnish in deliverance. So when God said he's giving you benefits, if your mind go to money, you belittle the person of God. 
The only thing you need to think, oh, one God say, I am giving you benefits. Does so somebody build cocoa house? There is a benefit. When you compare it to the currency of today, it's a big money. Somebody on the estate you have won't see or living is a greater benefit. Are you hearing me? So there is a way that God could actually convert the riches of the Gentiles to you. Riches of the Gentiles is not the money of the Gentiles. Riches of the Gentiles is the inheritance of the Gentiles. Do you understand that? So the inheritance of the Gentiles fall in different segments. I want you clearing I begin to say, wow, something great is happening. And they will just come to you. This thing belongs to you. Say, no, I've never dreamed of this before in my life. But your name is written there. How come your name is written there? Then you see that the Bible said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, from verse 15 and 16, it said that I have given you in the palm of my hand, and your war is continually standing before me. In other words, when he check his hand, your picture is there. Are you hearing that? It's to tell you that the hands of God is bigger than what you have ever seen in the universe. When God Make all Israelites. He called them my son. In other words, he see Israelite as one. When he want to do for somebody in the in Israel, then he will just look at that one as one entity. Look at the whole nation as one entity. So as I'm telling you right now, if we have uh, in the in the continent, we have maybe we have let's just say that we have thirty countries. For example, it's to tell you that that those 30 are number as figure 30. Not 4 million, you know. Not 33 trillion, you know. But figure 30. And when you want to cut figure 30, it is very easy for 30 people to be accessible. Am I speaking to somebody? So this is the reason I'm telling you today. That your life shall be accessible to your maker. Amen. I say your life shall be accessible to your maker. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Maybe when David was displaced to the forest or to the field, he was saying to God, I am the only one left here. Everyone are waiting for the prophet. Why am I here alone taking care of the flock? And peradventure, maybe he has interceded for his family. And he has said to his family, Do not allow the grace of the kingship, the priesthood, and the leader to leave my family. Do not allow the Holy Scepter to leave my family. And God heard his prayer. And when the prophet look up, I, I look at Eliab, the prophet said, the God anointed is before me. And God said, who told you I have rejected this one? And he said, is there any other one that you have among your children? And the father said, there is yet a one. A boy of between 10 and 13 years of age to come and dominate the elders. Can I say this to you? Immediately he was anointed. He was imparted with grace. It was imparted with wisdom. It was imparted with power. It was imparted with opportunity. It was imparted with covenant. God has never told anybody in the story of the Bible that with the Holy Hoye, I have searched him. And with the Holy Hoye, I have called him my firstborn. I said something. God has three entities. The first begotten son, the firstborn, and the first chosen nation. I'm talking about Jesus, the first begotten son, the firstborn, that was David, and the first chosen nation, the city of Israel. And you see them as one. I pray for somebody here. If your family list has been displaced, God will return it back to you, the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. shout out him every Amen. Because you came here with strong, strong issue in your mind today. God will give you right to dominate your total right. Amen. From every power holding you down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That giant 
So David became mighty obstacle. Okay, so the people they could not go. He was there for 40 days. Oh, among you have the right to say somebody to come and meet me. And the boys of giants are very proud. When you look at the at the look of the giant, they have a proud look. Because they are not making your own configuration. There is difference between tall man and giant man. Giant man are embedded with their voice, which every of their physique is different. They don't they have tiny voice. They have very husky voice. Then it is possible for husky voice in the demonic hierarchy to be tormenting even the one that is taller. Very dwarf. I remember when I was in the East. God showed me. He said, I want to tell you the power that is operating in the East region. Many years ago, and God said to me, look at them. They are dwarf spirits. Dwarf spirits. I wasn't a pastor there. But God speaks to me once in a while. Draw spirit. I don't say God. And then the spirit that torment the people, product the people business that cause problem. Yes. As you see them, they are too powerful in their demonic hierarchy. So the one that they not submit is or self to me. Are you hearing me? So I pray for you. No matter how tiniest, no matter how huge, no matter how powerful, that power that is tormenting you, I pray in the name of God, they are right over you with in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is somebody here. I can see one part of your body that a particular growth is coming out from now. God is saying to me, you are coming next week when next day to give testimony because that growth will disappear. Amen. That growth has been a concern to you. Very serious concern. But God is said, I should tell you, that growth will disappear. Amen. You better say amen if you are saying that amen. Amen. But God decided to turn obstacle to miracle. I don't know that obstacle along your way. I don't know that obstacle on your way to the top. I don't know all that obstacle that follow you to the place of your greatness. But today because you are here, that obstacle shall turn to miracle in the name of Jesus. And then that obstacle will turn to miracle in the name of Jesus. And then that obstacle will turn to miracle. Pray this prayer. Say every obstacle, every obstacle, on my way. Say no, miss no. Say turn to miracle in the name of Jesus. Say every obstacle, on my way to the top. Say no, miss no. Turn to miracle in the name of Jesus. I hear you say louder, hey. You will have your total victory. For your mouth to fill with laughter. Yeah. I don't know if you are listening to me. They have been saying to you there is no more hope concerning you. They have been saying to you there is no more hope concerning that matter. But God is saying that has been their sin. God said to me that to talk is very cheap. But for the talk to come to materialization or manifestation is not cheap. It must be garnished with power and grace. So I don't know who is that person listening to me. That power that has made your life to be uninteresting. That power saying to you that your mouth will not fill with laughter. Those power will be fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those giants that stand on your way to the top, they will die in the name of Jesus. Amen. If the problem of your life knew that you are coming here today, they would have run away very far before now. God, there is no problem that follow you here that will go with you. There is no issue that follow you here that will go with you. Amen. Somebody is here. A lot of people are owing you money. A lot of people are hoeing you. God is saying to me, they will begin to bring your money back to you with, I beg. Amen. I beg. I beg. I beg. I beg. Collect your money. Amen. 
You know, there are some riches that God gives to people without your effort. Because he knows that riches belong to you. So when people are saying that, oh, I, we are still using it. No more again. Because today is your day. Say today is my day. Today is my day. Say today is my day. God have decided to take the power against you unaware. And he have total right to work against the power of wickedness in your life. I pray for somebody listening to me today. That every right of the wickedness against your life, every power that is not of God working against your life, I pray in the name of God. That power will terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said to terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said to terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said to terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said to terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I hear you shout louder. Amen. As soon as God exposes the work of charmers in your life today, when your case is mentioned, then God will chase them away. Amen. Amen. That's what is going to happen. We are going to be talking about the works of Chamas. And there is going to be total deliverance for you. Amen. Amen. Now, what are the works of Chamas? Chamas are people or personality engaging or establishing their right to manipulate others against their wish. I've told you that this meeting we are exposing the works of Chamas. Chamas charm to harm. Chamas could be men or women. They could be young or old. Chamas are also called manipulators. They are in the churches. They are in mosques. They are in your streets. They are in your office. They are your family members. They can charm anyone that they have seen. And the only one they can charm are the people that have no right of God in them. Sit down and conserve energy. Now. God has given me release that you should sit down. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thomas engaged in chanting or reciting of magical spell. That is called incantation. Incantation. Thomas, they are also demonic contractors. In case. They want to charm a person that is far from them. All they need to do is to locate uh, a spirit that is closer to the house of that person. They don't need to come to your dwelling because they are demonic networkers. They will just give the picture in the spirit run to their fellow chamas and they start working. I remember so many years ago I had a family liberation in Kwara State, Nigeria. A particular boy of uh, 11 years old said that he used to have a dream. And in that dream, that he normally see a particular personality that used to give him assignments. And whatsoever they give to him is exactly what he's going to work with. When they said there is money there, that no means man, there is money in that place. Go there, take that money and tear the money. And they said, this window, pass through that window. And he said, we'll be saying in his heart that this window cannot, cannot contain me. And he said, we will expand it for you to ah, enter ma, ma, and to come ma, ma, out. And this boy has entered into this demonic world. But when we got into that place, I forgot the name he called that court. If I remember, I will tell you. And he said, they used to do meeting when they sleep. And he mentioned some specific places in Abuja and Lagos State. 
And in this place, he said, he said, he have never been to that place before. But he said, he can describe the place for me and if there is vehicle, he will take me to those places. And he said, this is the place of their big ogres. The rich men. And this boy said, he was initiated in primary school with sweets. A particular girl that has the mother as a charmer used to charm the sweet and said to the boy and said to the girl, any person you see today, give this sweet to that person. These are the works of charmers. And there are lots of people. They could charm the viral you use in your office. And instead of you to write good figure, you write wrong figures. Instead of for you to sign your signature, you will sign another person's signature that will put you into a problem because they have made you to sign. Can I say this to you? Thomas don't need to know each other. They don't know each other. All they do is they only know each other in the spirit. For adventure, you are a child of God. And the power of God is in you. You can do spiritual mapping in a place. And when you see a child of God that is spirit filled, with the spirit of God in you, you can actually get that person. Oh, this is a child of God. The same way the charmers got to know each other. And by the time they see each other, yes, I'm on a mission to harm this person. What do you want to do to that person? This is what I want to do. Okay, okay, I will take care of that. Do you know that so many people that enter into marriage, most especially women, they are charmed. If they come from a cottage home, the power that is working against their family will say to them that uh, the husband family, you cannot get the, the power in the husband family will say you cannot get it. This is your boundary. What are the code you are using against against this lady? And by the time they tell the lady this is the code, I say, okay, you can go back. We have so many women in your family to deal with. Leave this one for us. This is the reason so many people will enter into marriage in a pleasant order. And they begin to leave the discomfort state of marriage. I pray for you today. Every word of Chamas in your life and your marriage will terminate in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Chamas are called demonic intelligence officers. They determine and conduct the destiny barrier before the physical death of the owner of the destiny. This is the reason. So many people, by the time they sleep, they will just discover that they have been buried. So many people will shout from the dream. Hey, they will be crying. Tears will come from their hearts. Because they have seen themselves being buried. These are the works of Charles. In other words, they have buried the destiny of that fellow. On Friday, during our Nogata, God said to me about some people that when they sleep in the physical, they always go into the trance to sleep in the, in the sleep again. That is what is called spiritual slumbering. When, when they sleep in the physical, they tell their husband, their wife, or their children, or their spouse, good night, I want to sleep. They will sleep. And another thing will happen. It will still happen again that in their dream, they will be sleeping. And God said to me, there is nothing good they can lay their hands on that we walk. Because they have been in the permanent position of sleeping. All the days of their life, their, their destiny is sleeping. So there could not be deliverance except a time as that. I pray for you today. Every power that configure your life to sleeping, that power will destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Micah chapter 2 verse 1 to 2. Micah chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and walk evil upon their beds. While the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hands and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. 
So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. This scripture is making us to understand that Thomas could deal with the father of the house, the mother of the house, the children of the house, and everything they have. Thomas also caused marital delay or marital confusion and marital instability. They caused marital manipulation. Can I say this to you? How does the Thomas operate in marriage? They operated through impatience Impatient man or impatient woman. If you are a woman, you are not patient. Thomas have very right to deal with your marriage. Because they will cause confusion in your home. Making sure that every time you'll be nagging. And if they want to destroy their home permanently, the next thing they will do, they will make the interest of the husband to be going to the house. Or another lady has with. And they will make the interest of the wife to be going to the security guard. The driver, all their heads. Uh, before they marry. And they will just discover that their interest is just going to another person. It means that the, brain, the marital brain is being charmed. And this is the reason you are here today. And this is the time that the love becomes unbearable in home. They will swap the love in the house. And what they need is to issue a decree of confusion to the mind of that man or that woman. But I pray concerning every marriage here today and anyone that wants to enter into the marriage. Every interest of the chairman over your marriage, let it be fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let it be fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thomas penetrates to the new month. And they cause confusion for people. Not to get any better in their new month. Before the end of the month, maybe from the 25th, they will make you to have somebody in mind that you'll be fighting with. This person offended me. This person offended me. From 20 to like 31st, you will keep that in your mind. And they are called is, you know, the Thomas also read Bible. They use Bible code in their hierarchy. And what do they do? They say that the eyes of the Lord cannot behold iniquity. One of the iniquities is, if I regarded iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not answer my prayers. That means, if I hold somebody in my heart, if I engage in war against somebody in my heart, then my prayer will not be answered. This is very important. So this is the reason for you to overcome the works of Thomas. Your heart must be plain at all times. For you not to meet failure, your heart must be plain at all times. Because you operate with scripture. Thomas also cause brain damage. They do what? They cause brain damage. But I pray for you today. Every works of Thomas in your life. Causing brain damage in your life. They will terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your amen show it very well. Amen. Thomas uses their eyes to possess people. Every organ in their body is for charm. They use their eyes to project affliction to destiny. There was a story of a particular family. Because of what that woman was passing through that year. That sister as, uh, was pregnant. And uh, every time she was like she want to die. As a matter of fact, she has given up to death. And something happened in that place. That they have to bring that lady here. And they said, we want our God to deliver her. And I want to tell you, to the glory of the Lord, God delivered her sister. And she delivered. Then on the naming ceremony, they begged 
that they wanted me to come and name that child. Say, wow. You are not my member. And I don't do that. They beg. Just make it as if you come for visitation to come and visit us. And just give our child a name. Then I ask God. And God said to me, Go. Go. Go and name the child. And I went to name that child. On getting there, I saw a particular girl that was charming that lady, that small girl, that small baby of eight years old. That baby was attentive to that lady. I was provoked and I was angry. And I called the mother. Who is this lady? There is my husband. Uh, gave my husband friend, my husband friend gave friend. I said, you even gave your daughter to somebody that does not have a link. I said, this guy is possessed with serpenta spirit. So collect your child from her. I never bring your child to this city room again. You understand something? And she took the child. Thank God that God used me to secure the life of that child. I pray for every mother as here today. For adventure, you, are, you happen to be the child of yesterday. But you happen to be the mother of days or years before. And your life is being manipulated. I pray for you today. That manipulation attached your life with a fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. A pastor came to me some years back. No. Last year. Yeah, last year. I was in the And as he came, I said to him, sir. I said, God, open my eyes that you have a lot of problem in your life. And it's on to when you are like maybe seven days or seven weeks or thereabout. But not seven years. That one juju man, one abalist man came to took the cloth that your mother spread, the cloth that your mother used to spread on you when you want to sleep. And yeah. she spread it on the field. And God mentioned that village in Edo State. I said, that is my village. I said, so that is exactly the problem you are passing through. That man charmed that cloth. And did not return that cloth. And your mother has been looking for that cloth. Never see that cloth. Each time they want to do something in their demonic way. That man must have died. But spirits don't die. Your cloth present in their territory. Are you hearing me? And it happened to be a Muslim. And to worsen the whole thing. When he wanted to change his name to Christian name, he changed his name to the interpretation of bitterness. And one day, I was reading the scripture. And God said, leave that place. Go and read the interpretation of the name of that pastor. After three months or six, after six months. God said that interpretation was wrong. And I read it, I saw it. The father of Saul or father of somebody like that. Kish. Kish. And when I saw it, I went to check the interpretation. It was a very bad thing. And I called the man. I said, sir, another problem you are passing through is in the will be. Pray for you today. If Chamas has been the one troubling the place of your inheritance, they are right over your life with terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to shout out, Amen. I said they are right over your life with terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said they are right over your life with terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today. Are you a man of God? Or you have the call of God upon your life? And your life is being manipulated already. My God will secure your life for better. Amen. I say my God will secure your life for better. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know that there are charmers that are school owners? I went to pray for a particular school owner. Some times ago, they have buried a lot of things in that school. 
As I entered the school premises, God over my eyes, I saw a particular orange tree. When I saw it, I just saw there used to be a particular orange tree here. God is showing it to me. I said, Where is the location? He said, It used to be in that place. I said, This is the place that the witches do meeting. So, yes, there are some people told him that was the reason that he caught it. I said, You only caught the tree, you don't destroy the foundation. And God said to me, that, that tree you must destroy it. As I got to that place, I asked man. God said, where we are now? There is a particular place that is not far from this place. That they bury a particular thing. Where is that location? He said, it's here, sir. Another thing. As we are going, as I said, sir, where other places do they bury? He said, they bury 30 here, they bury this here. How many of you are with me? You are with me, you are with me, and my PA. And I said to him, why all these things? That man happened to be an allergy. When he came to this place, somebody introduced him to here. He said, I'm ashamed. I don't want to come to that place. They know me on this street. And I said to that person, let him go to where they don't know him. Abi. And he said, but there is something that nobody has ever told me on earth. That that pastor told me the first time I met with him. I don't want to leave that man. Second Wednesday, I saw him here. One of our 31st night, he did his 31st night here. Can you shout hallelujah on to the Lord? When I went to that school, I said to him, say, sir, you will give your life to Christ. I said, the reason I'm here, I'm showing you love. As we are going to the classes, pray for the class, I said, God said he want to use you. Can I tell you something? He has pastors now praying in that school. Meeting with them. Because a pastor has sown a seed. You understand that? There are some pastors that introduced him to so where he went to the harbourless, to so that place they were buried. I went to his house in Maryland. And he said, sir, here, Tortis was buried here. The same person that told me to go to a mountain in Nikoyi was well, the same person that told me to meet a particular harbourless. I want to tell you today, That same person oh, and can, you know. was that same person that said I should go to that place. Oh, no, but who is that helper? Demonic helper that is directing your destiny to unwanted location. They are right over you with a man in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Six And he said, I said, sir, I think I remember. I said, I saw you, you were covered with white cloth from your head to your toes. And God is showing that this happened many years ago. He said, yes, sir. It was in a particular church in Indore that they took me to and some other people. And in that place, getting to that Indore, before they pray for you, they will wrap you like a corpse, like a dead person with white. Then they will now pray for you. And you'll be in that position for a long time. I said, they use that one to reconfigure your destiny back to what you don't want. This is not on video. And when I got to his house, we, we, we consecrated that house for God. Thank God that he has a child that is a Christian. And I wanted to see that child that day, but we were unable to see that child because maybe he was out. But God made that seed to work. Every school that you have entered or your children have entered, that the power of Chamas is the one controlling that school. I declare in the name of Jesus, let that power terminate over your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will terminate in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thomas uses the amount of caspe on any uncompleted building. This is the reason a lot of people started building, but they never finished it. Each time they have money to complete the house, there will be a problem in their life that they must use that money for. 
A particular sister came some times ago, last year, late last year, around December. No, January. One woman that worked for me says, Sir, please, I have a sister, one of my students, that I want her to see you. And the sister came. And the sister said, Sir, that there is this problem that used to happen to her. Each time that she wants to write exam in school, this stomach ache will come. And the stomach ache will not release her until around six months. She will not be able to walk. She will not be able to move. And she said even it was around, I think, November or December. So even the mother said that this 25th December, that is not going to be a good year for them. That they are going to spend their Christmas in the hospital. That has been their cases. I pray for you. See, see, hear this. Not that that sister was charmed for nothing. That sister was charmed against the prosperity of the father. If you say that the enemy did not touch me, and they touch your children, who do they touch? Are you hearing me? You say, okay, somebody Sebi is only my destiny they steal. They did not see my cup. If the destiny is stolen away and the cup remains, which one is important? Destiny and cup, which one is important? Destiny and crown, which one is important? I pray for you. Every charmer that charm the works of your hands. That they are saying that if you have that money for that work, you will disgrace them. But if they take away your money, but they don't take your life, you will run back to them. I pray, let their right over your life terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. So charmers can charm uncompleted buildings. They will say, ah, this house is beautiful. Ah. And it's all over. Tony Lee, man, low, low, low. That owns these buildings. We know it's The person that is building the house has money. Ah, beautiful. They don't know. They don't need to know the owner of the house. Thomas don't need to know you. I want to say, you know that money. You understand that? They don't need to know you. I say, you this house. They will just get there as if they want to either we we or they want to pick something. They will just pick the sun and have covenant with the sun. The owner of you is he has money. But I am saying now, let poverty set in. This house must not be complete. And I'm getting there. By the time they take money, accident on the way. When they need money, either the wife is sick, up or down to America, the money they supposed to, they will just, the same amount that you have in your hand is what they are going to request for in India. Then, there will be two afflictions. Just because of the uncompleted building that you're supposed to complete. Then they will afflict your spouse. They will afflict children. They will afflict the works of your hands. I pray today in the name of Jesus. Every works of Thomas in your Life. That is saying to you that yes, that uncompleted building, or that uncompleted project will not be completed. Or that thing that you have started, they will waste it up. Let the light of your life terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, let the light of your life terminate in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have said it before. A particular friend of mine that I built house for 14 years. Four bedroom flat for 14 years. He happened to be a building engineer. And he was building that house in, on one acre of land that belonged to him. So one day he said, we happened to be the same minister in the church where I was. And he said to me, say, Pastor Leke, Pastor Leke, Pastor Leke, ah, I have a project, but all the blocks are black. I started 14 years ago. And I said, let me pray. And I'm getting there. When I prayed, God said, place this block on top of every other block. And declare. And remove the hand of Chamas from that building. And I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, after a few months, not one year, few months, the house was completed. 
Mary and a pack into the house. I pray. Every embargo place on your building. Every embargo place on your body. Every embargo place on your system. Every embargo place on your body. Every embargo place on your project. Let it be fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you be outstanding as we pray this prayer? Then you are going to pray this to prayer. Then we go. You will clap your hands very well. Say so every work of chamas. Every work of chamas. This are just the few from among what the chamas can do. By the grace of God, next week I'm going to be telling you how they used to charm corpus during wedding ceremony. How they used to charm rich people in the family. How they used to charm the food you have in your hand. How they used to charm the baby that the pregnancy that is in the womb. How they used to charm the baby that is back. How they used to charm a lot of things that happen. God is going to expose it and deliverance will come to you. Say every word of Chama. Every word of Chama. I want you to shout it very well. Every word of Chama. Concerning my life. Say what are you waiting for? As I clap hands. In the name of Chino. When you die by part two. Die by part two. Die by part two. Clap your hands. I say clap your hands. Every word of Chama in your life. Die by part two. Oh yeah, 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 oh you are not shouting it the way I like it. Well, that's the loudest you can shout. That was suddenly away from my life by Chamas. Say, enough is enough. Say, enough is enough. Say, all those good things that have been suddenly away from my life by Chamas. Say, what are you waiting for? Oh, yeah, give me back my right. Give me back my right. Give me back my right. Lord God, yes. Lord God, yes. Lord God, yes. Give me back my right. 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 So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Lord. Say in that day. In that day. day. That I've been tagged as the day of my celebration. Say every interest of Chamas against my celebration. Say what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus, as I clap my hands, we are die by part two. 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 Shall it be? Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Chamas are destiny wasters. Isaiah chapter 34, as I'm rounding up, Isaiah 34, verse 12. Isaiah 34, 12 and 13, he say, They shall call the noble dear for to the kingdom, but none shall be there. They shall call the nobles dear half to the kingdom. But none shall be there. And all our princes shall be nothing. Verse 13. And turn shall come up in our palaces. I pray for somebody here today. You are a noble person. Every power that stands to rubbish your life. That chase you with your crown to forest. Let their right over your life terminate in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name.
Before we shout hallelujah, I want you to shout this prayer with me. You chant it with your louder voice. There was a particular man. Oh, there is a particular man that is missing. That man happened to be 69 years of age. He wanted to go and get his pension money. And since Friday morning, 7 a.m. last week, up to now, he's nowhere to be found. And his name is Eda Isaac Olufemi Akinyemi. Say Eda Isaac Olufemi Akinyemi. Anywhere you are, let God search you out. Open your mouth and begin to declare. In the name of Jesus, anywhere you are, let God search you out. Let the interest of the spoilers be terminated. Your family are expecting you. I command in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God bring you out. Let the power of God bring you out. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. I pray for Eda Olufemi Akinyemi that anywhere you may be found, let the forceful hand of God put you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. From the hands of the spoiler. Or oh, from the hands of the helpers. I pray. Let the hand of God put you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. With your running amen. Anywhere, I want your amen to be louder than others. I pray anywhere in where he is. When I say in the name of Jesus, you come out. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let God bring you out in the name of Jesus. Come, come out. out. Let God bring you out in the name of Jesus. Come, come out. out. Let God bring you out in the name of Jesus. Come, come out. out. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory. Please can you package your offering. If you are joining us for the first time, I want to welcome you. I want to say that God will love you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are joining us for the first time, can you stand up where you 